Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at that big McCulloch um, lawnmower, the one that Roy's a boy uh, kindly donated the bag to. It came in as part of a job lot um, of four mowers I believe. All the other mowers bar one has, has gone, just waiting to get um, the other mount pulled up and running so I thought as I've got this bag um, I'll get this one sorted out now. Um, I believe it does run but it needs a few more bits and pieces doing to it before it, it will run properly. Um, so we'll get on do that I think. So without further ado, let's get down dirty and let's sort out this McCulloch lawnmower. Right, here it is, a 21 inch cut uh, McCulloch mower. It's in reasonable condition, a bit of um, rust here and there but it's only just surface stuff. The only issue with this I'm having is initially I had no grass box for it but Roy did donate a grass box. Uh, the dead man's handle cable has um, broke to a degree. Um, that snapped off there. That's got a crack in it. And every time you, you hook it up to where it needs to go, you pull it and then that just pops off like that. So that's broken. So I've got to do a repair on that first. Get that repair done and then we can see if we can't get it up and running as it should do. Um, I have had it running. Um, and I think it runs to, to a good degree. The driver works on it, all that sort of good stuff. So uh, let's get it in the shed, get it on the table, and we'll go from there. Right, that was nice. Just got the phone from Pete, one of my fellow subscribers and friend. Had a good chat with him, which is nice. So this, um, yeah, this cable, every time you put it on, put it into its home, like so, every time you pull it, um, it just literally pops out like that. That's not holding. So the first thing I need to do is two things. I need to cut this off here and put a new dog leg on here using my crimping tool and then the second thing is I need to drill through here through here now I can either drill all the way through it and put a bolt through it which is a possibility or two pot rivets would hold it I may go for the bolt option just to hold it in place um, once that's in place um, I can then um, activate the brake system as I need to and then we can try and run it up so we'll do it first let me just cut this cable off first, which is very simply done. I can't get it out now, but if I just put that brake cable in, pull that out and come out. That's it. Um, I cut this cable off and I've got a spare, which would be one of these two. Let me find a heavy duty out of the two. It's this one. And all I'm going to do is cut that off and rejoin that with my crimping tools at the same length, like so. And um, that will then allow me to have a new dog leg on there, which won't come out. Um, then we cut this plastic bit up. So I get this cut first, get it joined, and I'll come back. Right, so I've cut my cable. Um, this is the new one, and I've cut my old one off of here. So all I'm going to do is get my little tiny crimping tools. You can get these on Amazon or eBay. Look up uh, 1.5 cable connectors, and that sort of thing. They come up on, under that. And you just literally slide that on, and then slide this one in. I'll do this one first because it's got a little bit of burring on it. Let's get that in first. That's better. Then get this one and push that through the opposite way. They're a bit fiddly, but once you get them in, if I put it up there first, right, that's better. That's better. That come down. That's sitting there, like so. And now if you just put that in a vice and squeeze it, or a, a good pair, of, good pair of pliers would do it, or crimpers. Um, once that's been squashed, that would be that cable repaired. So I'll give a quick squeeze and I'll come back. Okay, so what I've done is actually remove that cable from the mower and I've actually now um, positioned this cable that goes on through the bars and then it goes in that side there. So this has now been positioned correctly. And what i found, I've been using um, like tile cutters originally, but I've had much better results if you put it into a big vise and literally just squeeze it together in the big vise. Don't go mad mad, but it has to be on my really tight. That's about there I'd say. And now, by the power of Grayskull, that cable has now been fixed. And that can now be fitted back to the machine. So we'll try it now and uh, see if it works. Absolutely unbelievable. I just just spot across the other side of a blinking shed. Oh, mother in law's come out. All right, girl? I'm fine. What are you doing? <laughs> Get the wash again. All right. Is it is raining, it? is it? Yeah. What size feet you got in? <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Twelves? Yeah, something like that. Whose shoes you got on then? <laughs> you got my old boots on? Yeah. 
<laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Whose pants you got on? <laughs> hey? Unbelievable. What's that like, Martin Butler then? Unbelievable. She's even wearing my old, my old trainers now. Nothing sacred in my house, I tell you. Nothing is sacred. Right. Sorry about that, Martin. It wasn't pinching your phrases. It just, it just come out. Right. So I've hooked up the um, dead man's cable back through um, where it needs to be. And now it's caught up. I've bring that dead man's cable back up. Right, that's that cable now fitted back onto the machine. I put that back into there, but it's not going to hold because that keeps coming out. Um, but now you can see uh, once that's um, connected here for, with a bolt, um, that cable connection is now nice and strong, and I'll be able to activate the dead man. So next thing to do would be to drill a hole through. I'm either going to pop rivet this or just put a bolt through one or the other, but uh, until it acts on, that's never going to hold anyway. So let me get it done and I'll come back. Right, I drilled a hole, just one to begin with. That's going to go, my little pop rivet, that's going to go in there. Just going to get my gun. I need to need a new one of these. And it's now going to clamp that through. Like so. That's got that one. I'm now going to drill it through the other side as well just to make sure it holds it. And then that will then be fixed. That's that one. Now I'll grab a pop rivet, which will be the heavy duty ones I'm using out of the two. Stick that up in there. There it goes. I might even put a third one in there yet before I try it. That's that one seem to be very quick to release that. I may have just have to check that with a, a torch. I'm going to put a third one in anyway. And the third one's going to go, I've got to put one a bit lower down. I'm going to put a third one just about here. So let me get it drilled and I'll come back to you. Right, so that's now been, that's now had three uh, rivets put in. I just want to double check with my torch because that one of them rivets it it released very very quickly indeed uh, which is going to be the bottom one yeah it hasn't taken as much as, as well as the other two have okay we'll see so now <clears throat> if this may just fall off but i'm hoping it it would it was done the trick so now <clears throat> with a dead man's handle all hooked up to a spring I pull this, you can see that's now activating. Exactly how it should do. It's not coming apart. I'll give it about a 50, a 50 test on it, you know, just to make sure that's not going to pull apart. But that's that cable now fully working. Exactly how it should do. So happy with that. So I'm just going to try and run this lawnmower up. I'll probably do it on top of the bench. Just to make sure it's actually making the uh, making the connection and what have you. So let me just clear a few tools out of the way. Got nothing to fall off. No other tools there. Nothing underneath. No. Nope. Let's give it a couple of pumps. There should be some fuel in it. There's a little bit of fuel in there. There it goes. I can hear it priming. And let's see what happens when I give it a pull now. So it is missing a little bit. It needs a new spark plug and a full service. So I'll get on and give it a service now. Um, 
and we'll go from there I suppose. Um, it has got a miss to it so I dare say the spark plug wants doing. Uh, the carburetor I, I shan't bother cleaning just yet until um, I try the other bits and pieces first. Um, it is actually working but not been started for a little while that one so that's not too bad. Uh, at least now the dead man's hand is working. Just want to double check the drive too whilst we're here, make sure the wheels are working. Let's get her serviced. Right, let's get into her. So this one, as I say, come to me as part of a job lot. And all the other two, all the other, all the other four have all sold. Um, but I was waiting just to get this uh, grass box for this one, which I'm super chuffed I've now got one. It's got a miss to it. So I'm convinced it's probably just gonna be the plug. It could be a fuel delivery issue. But I don't want to take the um, I don't want to take the uh, carb off just yet because the dead man wasn't working. So I'm guessing that's why someone got rid of it. So let's have this plug out. See what it looks like. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a bit mucky, a bit very dark. Been running a bit rich. So I've got a new plug for that. That one is the um, NGK BCPRES. But I've got the Briggs and Stratton ones, which is what I use over here. Should have a nice one. Yeah. These are what I use, the Briggs's. Exactly the same plug, which are the 992304s. Let's give that a bit of a happy birthday with a new plug. It'll probably appreciate that. going incidentally I just won a load of equipment off of um, an auction site um, I'm picking up a generator two hedge cutters and a three or four strimmers on Friday so that'd be some more stuff coming on the old channel make sure that's well in I'll leave the HTE off for now um, just so I can carry on working. Next thing to do will be take out the oil. I dare say it's not had an oil change since the day it was bought. I've got plenty of oil. So let's have a quick look to see what the oil looks like. That'll be over here. Let's have a quick little look. The oil is overfilled and actually it's not too bad in colour. I've seen a lot worse, but I'm going to do an all change anyway. Just want to double check that's not actually a false reading. Now it is overfilled, as you see considerably. The fill mark is at the top of my nail, just there, and that's where it is there. So it is overfilled, and it doesn't look like a lot, but something like that can make all the difference with a lawnmower. That could be part of the reason why it's got a bit of a mist to it as well. So I use my trusty. Um, oil extractor that goes in to bring it a bit closer yep and it's been running for a little while so the oil should be nice and thin there it goes so I'll get the oil out of this machine and I'll come back when it's completely empty right that's the oil taken out I've tipped the lawnmower up on its side slightly as well just to make sure I get it all out so now the engine has got no oil in it at all now one of my subscribers just last week, I released a video, um, I think it was on the mount field um, mower I, I had, I was, doing a, I was doing a deck swap, and he said he can't understand the reason why I um, tip lawnmowers up on the sides. Well the easy answer is, is that in the shops it says on it, or whatever, don't tip it up on its side, you could incur engine damage, this, that and the other and all the rest of it, which is great. I'm not a, uh, a Joe Bloggs. I work on these machines. Work on these machines every day of the week. And the easiest way to access the areas you need to is to tip the machine up. Nine times out of ten, there is no oil in the machines when I do so. Um, 
but there are occasions where yes there is all in them I tip them up but that's my choice I know what I'm doing when the engine smokes on start up I know the reason why and all that sort of stuff so to tip an engine up on its side is not life or death but they don't recommend it as a manufacturer to the customer but uh, I'm not the uh, manufacturer I'm not a customer so I can get around that so I'm going to tip the lawnmower up on its side now and I'm going to use one of my Jason Massey axle stands to support it. Now that's not quite high enough for me. So he did say it didn't come with a bolt. So in here somewhere, I can use probably one of them would do. Let's tip her right up. I want it to be about there, but just not quite up to tipping point where it actually fall over. Let's put it about there and rest it back. And that's not going to fall over. Good, good. So they are Jason. I needed. Let me just put you down here somewhere so you're a bit closer. Perfect. So there you are. So now I have a lawnmower up on its side, secured. Um, it won't tip over and uh, it certainly won't fall back on me or anything like that. So Jason, thank you very much indeed for that. That's uh, saved, my, saved my back. So that'll be good. Right, next thing I want to sort out is the underside. This blade has looks like it's either been struck or put on upside down. I would say put on upside down. So let me just uh, get this uh, blade off and I'll show you what I've just found. Okay, so let me grab a 14 mil. Uh, let's do that one there and a bar. Let's take that off, let's bring that one. Now the blade is off centered ever so slightly. HTD is off for those who are at all concerned. I'll move that over there slightly. I've got, got that down just one, I think. It's a little bit too high for what I want. You're still in shop? Yep, yeah, you're still in shop. You can see where I'm got an axle stand. Let's bring you in here a bit. Let's try and get your ride in. Try and get your ride in amongst it. There you go, how's that? Any better? So let's put that 14 mil on. Try and remove that. That's on there. Is that on number three? No. Cool, that's not having it. I might have to get my big boy out. Let's try one more time. Okay, that's not having it. Let's get my big boy out, two seconds. Right, got my air gun. Now don't forget people, this is the um, the air gun that I'm gonna be giving away, or not this one, but I should be, um, a new one will be coming to the winner of the uh, 1000 subscriber giveaway. So if you wanna enter, you must go and find a video that me and Roy both released on both our channels. There's two videos. Um, to watch and the instructions on how to win these are both on there and That's why I bought one because it just removes them with ease So if you want to get your hands on a uh, impact gun for that sort of job then you must go over to the channel and um, Follow the instructions on how to do it have noticed lots of people have actually been uh, entering but uh are not even subscribed or not leaving the comments so make sure you do it properly otherwise uh, you won't stand a chance of winning right let's hook this blade quickly right so the blade itself is in pretty bad condition the blade was on this way around that's how it was on and that's around the wrong way the blade should be on that way around because there's a cutting edge which is absolutely knackered and that bit there's broken off where we had a blade upside down so i'm hoping i've got a spare one of these i think i have because it should be the same as the Husqvarna I had in a little while ago. <clears throat> so I hope I've got a spare one. If not, I should tidy it up best I can, um, but I should be purchasing a new blade for it. So that blade was upside down and was no good. So let me look for a spare blade, see what I've got. Um, if not, I'll be using this one just for purpose of test, and then I'll be purchasing a new one. Right, I don't have a new blade for it. Um, 
or second hand one so I'm going to be putting the old blade back on. I have sharpened it but it won't be sold with this. Just want to make sure it fits and to see as to why they actually put the blade on ran the wrong way in the first place because this blade is actually the right one for it. It doesn't make any sense as to why they put the wrong blade on. So that blade's on and as you can see it does actually um, does actually just go below the, the uh, above the deck itself so it is the right blade so that blade go back on just for testing purposes um, but I shall be replacing it with a brand new blade as soon as I purchase one but I wasn't aware it needed one so let's get it put back on and then we can start to do the, uh, the oil right the blade is um, actually US um, it's got a bit of a bend to it although I have sharpened it up um, it's no good so I'll put it back on but it will be for, for test only and uh, these blades are readily available They're probably about 14 quid somewhere in there I expect so I'll get a new a new blade for it just want to check the air filter if I can get into it quite a bit of corrosion in here can't get in there I can get into that one Can't quite get into that one there just yet. I don't know why. Let's put a bit of squirt in there, see what's going on. A little bit of a clean up. A bit of a soak up. There's quite a bit of crud in there. I can't even see the top of the head, there it is. You can see it now. I don't want to spin. I might make it a little 28 mil, eight mil nut on there maybe. That might help. Sixteenths. Cool, that's well on there. It's been on there that long. I don't know if the filter's not been changed. There it goes. We got her. Alright, <coughs> let's see what's inside here. Little tiny foam filter. Which is uh, well used, so I need a new, new air filter as well. Because that's, uh, that's well past its sell by. I have to order one of these up as well. There's a part number there for it. <laughs> Off of Briggs and Strats. So I'll take a photograph of that. That's a 697029. So I'll order one of them as well whilst I'm at it. <clears throat> I'll give it a clean for now, just to get me out of a pickle. It's all just falling apart pretty much. Give it a quick blow off the air compressor, put it back in. And I'll order one up, I'll take a photograph of that so I know what to order. Then we'll go from there. Well, that's been blown out with the old air compressor, so it is cleaner what it was. But this foam filter is just falling apart in my hands, pretty much. There's nothing I can do with that, really. If I put the foam back on, it's just going to fall off. It doesn't stay captively, so the foam can stay off for now. I say we'll be ordering a new one. So that goes back into there. The carburetor looks pretty good. Be fair. So it needs a new air filter and a new blade. So that's going to stand me in at a roughly about what about 25 quid, somewhere in there. So something to bear in mind when you're buying these these lawn mowers, how much they stand you in at. Good show. Right, let's um, top it up with oil. So it's had a new plug, and I've all changed. It's gonna have a new blade on it anyway. It'll have a new air filter as well. The dead man's handle's now working, the drive all worked, which is good. I might try and find some donor wheels for this. I'm pretty sure I had some off of a Husqvarna, uh, which has got front treads on it. So I should have a look around for that, so I've got a spare. So I'll just fill up the oil, um, and then I'll come back once I fill that up. 
Right, let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, absolutely bang on to where it needs to be. So that's good. So that's better. Don't want to overfill a mower. That's already been overfilled once, so. That's good, right, so that's now had. New spark plug, all changed. Blade has been sharpened and balanced, but uh, it is uh, it is knackered. So I've got a new one of those put on, and also new air filter's got to go on. Dead man's handle's been repaired, and the cable drive all works. So let's get it outside, let's give it a run up, see what it sounds like, because I don't know if we've got a carburetor yet. Um, see if it doesn't run as it should do. If it don't, it'll be coming back in and the carburetor will be coming off to have a look at the carburetor, but uh, I don't see it hunting or anything like that, so let's see how we get on. Right, I had just given the old, okay, just given the old height adjustment on this side here, or all over, but a good all up, because this one wasn't moving, but it is now. So just set it to the highest height adjustment. Um, I haven't primed it or nothing yet, so let's give it a run, see how, what it goes like. HT lead might be good. They always run better with that on. Sounds good. Uh, it does want a new front wheels put on it because the, the tread's gone on them as well. So um, that's a problem with front wheel drives. Um, they do go quite quick. So I'll be finding some donor wheels for a front. Um, but apart from that, it goes right. So I'm just going to get a 15 minute run up, 10 15 minutes, and uh, see what it's like in a little while. So it cuts rather well, despite the blade being a bit US, as you can see. It cuts rather well. And over here, I just cut this bit of lawn just here as well. I um, had it too low just there, you can see where it's just burnt it slightly. But yeah, it cuts pretty well. Um, but it does require a new blade, definitely. Um, good grass cuttings, but they are slightly mulched. So, um, although it is a mulching machine, um, the grass is too fine so it isn't cutting right because the blade is wrong but apart from that it's uh it runs pretty well with a new air filter on it and a new blade it should run a bit better but i'm happy it's another lawnmower um it's been saved and uh it's part of the job lot so this one is straight into profit so quite happy Okay, so that's that little lawnmower all up and running. Just wants a new air filter and wants a new blade. Both of the things will probably cost around about £15 a go, something like that. So it's not too much to invest into a mower that I've got as part of the job lot. So um, I should get them done as soon as possible. That lawnmower will be up, and up for sale or will be winterised ready for next year. Um, don't forget that the competition running for the giveaway for the Impact Gun or the Roy's of Boys um, clock, um, Briggs and Stratton Pork or Assembly clock is still running. It's open for two weeks only. Um, there's a link to my channel, uh, that video up, up above right now. Uh, watch that video in full and that will tell you how you need to um, enter the competition. And for those of you that have entered a competition already well done, we will be checking to make sure you are um, subscribed, you have liked and left a comment. Um, for those that haven't done so, they will be taken out of the draw and there is already a few of you that have not done that. What it is, we, we just sincerely want these um, prizes to go to our regular subscribers, not to those who are just looking for a free prize um, on, on the YouTube um, platform. So if you are a fellow YouTube subscriber that watches these channels regularly, then you've got nothing to worry about. But for those of you who are trying to sneak in, I'm afraid you're going to be pulled out of the draw because we'll be checking. 
I hope you found this um, episode of Mixed Mo's enjoyable. Um, any comments, positive or negative, you know where to leave them. Don't forget on your way out before you leave to give your bell a little tap, hit your red button, and also give it a big thumbs up that helps towards my channel's growth. But until next time, don't forget, take it easy.